is the entitlement of like the generation of new comics, entitlement of people. And I don't, I feel like I see people that are, that are huge. And I just look down. I don't talk to them until they talk to me because like I, right. I give people, that's how I was raised. You know, the I see, same way. see George Lopez, you know, I look down, I see, you until they say, what's up? Or Jerry Seinfeld, you know what I mean? That's, that's how I was raised. You know, it's like they always, my dad would say little people should be seen, never heard. Meaning like kid. I'm, I'm the same way. Yeah. And I won't talk to the, I barely, if I do, I go, hi, my name is Craig. Shimmer. Yeah. And they always I, go. I know you. What, yeah. Are you kidding me? You know, I let, I let, but I don't walk John in. John Travolta I don't walk that. in. No, you don't. John Travolta no. introduced himself and says, hi, I'm exactly. John. Exactly. He's incredible. And a lot of people go, no shit. Yeah. You know, but they, and with me, they even do, and I'm not famous, but they'll go, oh, are you kidding me? I, a lot of do what you said, by the way. I listen to you on the radio. Yeah. Listen, all that kind of stuff. And it's very nice. And that's where the nice respect level comes in. But I give it right back. Yes. I have absolute respect. You're I very have, respectful. I have reverence for this business. In my opinion, this is the toughest art form, and yet the most disrespected art form. I am so, I cannot believe the way the Academy Awards treat us, where there's no comedy category. I had to talk with Whoopi about this. I was surprised she supported the Academy in this. I was really surprised, and we had a little disagreement on this. But I cannot believe they use us as court jesters. And, and that whole thing where they gave Will Smith a standing ovation for the dis- ultimate disrespect of one of our greatest comics Of ever, all time. Of ever. And he, and he went up there and he did the most disrespectful thing you can actually even do. If he punched him, it would have been less disrespectful. Yeah. But that slap, and then they gave him a standing ovation. These phonies in Hollywood gave him a standing ovation. He should have been arrested. Mm-hmm. And so that's where... That's where I feel... It was a bitch move. It was, and it, we're that, both from yeah. Philly. Oh, that was a oh, bitch oh. move. And to not hit him back... 63rd, would have been, bro. You're right, from right. 63rd Street. Yeah, it was... Let's just say yeah, what it is. It is what it is. A right, bitch right. move. Yeah, a big time. And he treated him like a bitch. And that was And I something, love Will Smith. I do, too. I do, too. Always did. But this was team look, Chris he, all day. He, by on the way, this. he did it one hundred percent. But I'm team comedians, and we are so disregarded, disrespected, and I do believe it's because we are Toto for the Wizard of Oz. We pull that curtain, and people are threatened by it. They're threatened by the curtains we pull. We tell the truth. We were the first ones during the pandemic to start telling it. Mm-hmm. They didn't want to hear it. They shut us down. They shut you down. The FCC shuts you down. Right wing shuts you down if you make fun of their boy Trump. Left wing shuts you down if you make fun of anything to do with the, the left. That is, they're absolutely intolerant. And yet the comedians, we are making you happy. We make you happy. And yet we're so disregarded. Look at how many, I mean, it's the, the reality shows instead of sitcoms. It's, it's ridiculous. Where did the sitcom go? I, the art form of the sitcom went away. Comedies went, went away. But I'm telling you, it's going to start switching. There's a comedy boom that's happening right now because guess what? The people are in charge, not Hollywood. And Hollywood's going to catch the people again. That's how the boom is happening. Fuck Hollywood. They're gonna, but that's what I say. And by the way, we're packing up. I packed the Tuesday night. I love night. Hollywood. I packed the Tuesday night. The guy goes, I go, well, I packed the Tuesday night. He goes, don't get high on yourself. He goes, we pack so much, I have to open on Mondays. He goes, there's a boom happening now. It was in Florida. Absolutely boom. And that, because people need to laugh. They don't want to be told what to do. They want the quarantine, truth, too. And they want the truth. Yes. And that's what we're here for. And the fact we're that people, to, uh, you're you're so right. And comedy is way bigger than rock and roll right now. Absolutely. Rock and roll are a bunch of pussies. They're not pushing the envelope at all. Podcasting and comedy is where it's at. Absolutely. And people's sense of humor has never even been better or worse. All of these fake shallow. Fake. Oh, yeah. fucking virtue signaling pussies oh my god trying to make you look good for their friends get the fuck well, out of here how about the whole masking thing you know, the guy's yelling at me put a mask on meanwhile his nose is sticking out one of those hypocrites it's like putting a condom on your testicles you jerk off I mean remember that word <laughs> jerk off in Philadelphia I love the word jerk off I never had and, condom on the <laughs> testicles <laughs> and then, you know, and you sit down. And you have a steak in front of you. There's no COVID. You're making a perimeter. Yeah. You know, I mean, it just it, people went out of their minds. Stupid. But that's that Hollywood, the Hollywood thing where they just they're so afraid, and we're not afraid. And that's why comedians should be revered, not be considered the court jesters. We should be revered as the greatest artists there are because we write it, we produce it, we direct it, we choreograph it. We're makeup, hair, lights. We are every single thing, every element. 
We have a microphone and that's it. Everyone else, these actors, oh my God, and acting for this and acting for that. You have a script, you have CGI, you have a director, you have everything, every support possible. We have to write all of our own material, work it out in the middle of the night in front of people that are yelling at you. Now they have a permission because of Will Smith. They have a permission. Oh, open up the gates on that kind of heckle. Oh, now you can come up and slap somebody. That's how disregarded we are. And it's ridiculous when we should be, people should go, oh my God, we don't even get reviewed. They review rock. They review art. They review theater. They review every single thing except for comedians. You ever see reviews of comedians? There was no Cisco and Eber for comedians. There should have been. There should be absolute reviews in every magazine of all the comics, and we should be absolutely be put up into a place of we are entitled to that because we put in our time, and we put in our time for them. We put it in for them, for the audience. Other people are doing it for themselves. Actors are doing it for themselves. They want to get accolades and awards and thank people so they can have those people hire them again. That's why they're doing the speeches. Speeches have nothing to do with anything except for your own narcissism, self-involvement. We are giving to people all the time, bringing healing medicine of laughter. That's what we bring all the time. Whoops. This went a little. That was my other side. Namaste. Namaste. (laughs) <laughs> I am so glad that I did not fucking talk. Let me tell you something. You agree? 1,000%. Yeah. 